Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. We're returning to our coverage of the Book of Boba Fett to look specifically at one very interesting scene from episode 5. So, when the Mandalorian returns to visit the Arborer on Glavis, we see firsthand the Night of a Thousand Tears, which is the name given to the Empire's massacring of the Mandalorians and the Mandalorian Great Purge. One interesting question that people have brought up is whether the Empire is actually using nuclear clear weapons during the scene. The biggest indication that people have been using to support that is the fact that there are the KX series droids on the ground, indicating that there may be radiation levels too high for people. And of course, there are mushroom clouds after the bombs impact, and the bombs themselves are actually different than what we see in The Empire Strikes Back from TIE Bombers. I will say though, I don't think the fact that TIE Bombers themselves were used rather than a Star Destroyer in orbit to level the planet indicates that it was nuked. The Empire will, quite frequently, even when maintaining orbital supremacy, bomb a planet into submission through bombers rather than turbo lasers. This is probably because it's a far more precise and personal method of destruction. But were those nukes? Let's try to answer that question. And the first question, of course, we have to answer associated with that is, are there nukes in Star Wars? The answer is yes. Nukes have appeared periodically in Star Wars, but they are not a very common weapon of destruction. This is probably due to the insane energy generation capability of traditional Star Wars weapons. As far as I'm aware, we don't know of any faction from the Clone Wars or beyond which commonly employed nukes as a part of their arsenal. During the Old Republic, the Mandalorians in Star Wars Legends used nukes as warheads, but by the Galactic Civil War, nuclear weapons were typically used as bombs, smuggled into locations, employed by terrorists, etc., rather than traditional tools of war. There are some exceptions to that, but I do think that's a general description of how nukes have been handled in Star Wars. That being said, the Book of Boba Fett could of course change that if that's what it was attempting to do. Let's return to the scene though. As I said, the munitions here do look different. Proton bombs, as they're presented in the Empire Strike Back, glow before they impact on the surface, whereas these do not. Of course, that doesn't indicate that these are nukes, and we have actually seen in Star Wars canon that traditional real-world looking bombs are sometimes used, and a good example of that would be the Resistance's attack on the Mandator Dreadnought. But let's talk about the explosions themselves, and I think the first thing to mention there is mushroom clouds. People associate mushroom clouds with nuclear weapons, but they're not actually related except for the fact that a large explosion can cause a mushroom cloud. Interestingly, the explosions here also aren't super large, definitely in the kiloton range in my opinion, which would mean the Empire would for some reason be using lots of small nuclear weapons, often referred to as battlefield or tactical nukes rather than some of the big city busters. Now, does that make sense in this situation? Maybe, but just something to keep in mind. And I will give my opinion too, when we get through all of this. The next thing I wanna mention though is the droids. And it's my opinion that the droids do not indicate nuclear weapons, rather they're included in this scene. Because to be honest, it makes it look like the Terminator and the droids are sort of terrifying as they're methodically moving through the battlefield, putting shots into bodies. But it's definitely an argument that one could make. Overall though, to give my thoughts on the entire situation, I do not think the Empire was using nuclear weapons here. I think these were simply conventional bombs, which they were using to flatten Mandalore. Nukes do exist in Star Wars, but so far we've got no evidence of the Empire using them, and it does seem that standard weaponry is capable of producing explosions of a sufficient yield to rival nuclear weapons. I think the main indicator of Mandalore just being bombed to oblivion is how people talk about it. First of all, in the Mandalorian 2, season finale, Boba Fett refers to Mandalore as being glassed, which to be fair is a sort of neutral statement on the point, but Bo-Katan is always fairly consistent about wanting to recapture the planet. I don't think recapturing the planet would be a priority whatsoever, even symbolically, if it was an irradiated wasteland. I also think that the show probably would have used different imagery if it was trying to show the planet being nuked, rather than having this sort of saturation bombing, which is very World War II-like, as Star Wars typically is, and more commonly associated with non-nuclear weapons, they would have probably showed viewerships dropping off individual, but very powerful explosions, with each explosion 
explosion sort of being its own focal point of this scene. The biggest explosion in this scene happens easily when the large building is destroyed. So to summarize, no, I don't think this was the Empire using nuclear weapons. It's just not a common strategy in the modern Star Wars universe during warfare, and it seems like traditional Star Wars weapons can match the yield of nukes if needed, and in this case, the imagery is a lot more similar to something like a carpet bombing. Additionally, the fact that people want to recapture Mandalore and that it's frequently referred to as being devastated but not an irradiated wasteland tells me that it was probably just bombed out of existence rather than being nuked and flooded with radiation. That's just my opinion though. What do you think? Were these conventional weapons or nuclear bombs? I look forward to reading your opinion down below. Until next time though guys, be safe, have a good one, and may the force be with you.